shopping. Why are you buying puts and EV stocks, John? Um, in particular, Scott, we saw some unusual activity in NEO puts, uh, and that was yesterday with the stock at 50. Now the stock's 44. We're also seeing it in Lee, LI. Um, and I think uh, the chip shortage is what <coughs> NEO cited, Scott, as to the reason why they needed uh, to give a, uh, an update on where they stood. And when they did that, immediately it was met with selling pressure. Same thing over in Lee, XPEV, all of those. Now, we know that uh, Elon had to shut down a production facility in Fremont um, for, I think, five days because they didn't have enough chips. This is a problem for those guys. The heavier they are in tech, the more demand for those chips. And until they can start getting satisfied uh, and getting those, um, I think that's going to be troublesome for them. That's why I bought the puts. You, you sold Q calls, calls into Qs. Is that, is that because of the rip yesterday? Yep. Um, Thursday last week with you, I talked about buying those March 310s. Um, then on Friday, I talked and said that we were buying the 320s. Both of those have screamed to the upside through yesterday. And that's why we said, OK, these were options that expire this coming Friday, Scott. So when you've got... You know, the nothing focuses the mind like the gallows, right? So when you know you've only got uh, five more trading days as of last Friday and as of yesterday, now you've got three more full trading days. We took profits, got to the sideline. I'd love to jump back in those, but now we're not seeing um, put buying. We're just seeing people liquidating calls, and we've followed that wave.